intern, look at this. Look everywhere you turn. You can see beautiful plants and very excited people. Look at that. Ooh, what does this gentleman have? <gasps> a kebab! I hope that that is absolutely delicious for you, sir. But oh my goodness. Oh, well, we've still got some very bored people. So we're working on making people more entertained here. But intern, look. Look around you and what do you see? Greenery! Greenery everywhere. I would say that this forest fire damaged land is really, really becoming something strong and vibrant. A true tropical rainforest again. The park rangers, oh look that little girl just donated. Oh you're so awesome little girl. Thank you! Even though she's really bored. Aww. See, I feel bad now. Let's see if we can find anything, something to entertain this child because she was kind enough to donate to us. Maybe we just need to have an absolute swarm of mascots roaming throughout the zoo. That might be, that might be the path that we take. Or I should say the park. Ugh. I'm always, well, you know, it's a zoo, it's a park, it's a conservation protected agency area that we open to the public to try to educate them about the diversity that is available out in the Central American rainforest. Though, oh my goodness, we have so many animals that you would not normally find in a Central American rainforest. People just drop off the weirdest things here, I swear. Oh, there's a little sign. We could do that. How to amuse this child. Hmm. Maybe I always default to the arches, but you have to admit the arches add a bit of a touch. So actually, in turn, well, good morning, and the very first thing it looks like we're doing today is we are going to expand this little pathway. I know we're trying very hard not to poke into the animal's land too much, but I think that this will be helpful in the long run. So let's go ahead, pull back the monsoon grass a little bit. Don't worry, we'll replant it. In fact, let's just go ahead, grab the chain link fence. Good job, intern. And then we're gonna do this right here. There we go. Let's scooch this awesome tree over. Yum, your palm tree. There you go. And then we'll move the monsoon grass over so that the guests can uh, have a little bit of a room to walk. And we're going to put more arches over here because that makes happy guests. And then we're going to have to start exploring our, our park today because the rangers are reporting some new animals roaming around. So we're going to have to see what those new animals are because I'm very excited about that. Let's see. Where the heck, where the heck is this path? My goodness, I always lose this one, intern. It's so embarrassing. Let's see. It's not you, not you, not you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's a gravel path, it's a gravel path. I know that much. No, not you. Not not this one. I don't think it's this one. Is it this one? It's this one! Yay! Sandy gravel path. That's right. We were trying to keep it very naturalistic for this, this particular park. Let's make this corner like a bent corner, I think. There, that's better. I'm gonna scoot this table over. Oh dear. <laughs> well, let's wait for these people to be done eating and then we will scoot the table over. All right, there we go. So now let us snag. No one has used this thing yet. I really, 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 really want someone to use the sky tower. The prices are set low. The people are just stubborn as all get out. Let's move this bench like right there. And we'll move this bench right here. And then we'll grab the arches. And then we are gonna dive in and we are gonna check on the many, many various species of our park because we have absolute treasure trove of animals coming in. I'm pretty excited. I know we are primarily a bird sanctuary and that continues to be our main focus, but there's quite a few other tropical animals that have snuck into our sanctuary and that's a good thing. It's helping keep that balanced, healthy ecosystem. In fact, I wanna go check on those cute little frogs again. I really wanna go look at those guys. There we go. See, and by adding plenty of potted plants along the pathways, try saying that five times fast, we make it, ta-da! So that hopefully our guests will be a little bit more entertained. We'll switch this, that the little trash can over a wee bit. I'm so sorry, sir. I have given you a little bit of an awkward place to sit. He's just sitting there in midair while he eats his kebab. The kebabs from this place must be delicious. So many people come and get them. Also, we need to fix the entrance. But our, our place is getting uh, pretty entertaining. Oh, this looks so much better as the main entrance. Look at this. I love it. Hopefully they will love it too. Ah, now let's see, what's going on down here? Let's make sure our birds are okay for the day and then keep your eyes peeled because I do hear that there are some new critters running around. 
Oh, I hope the 11 is now pregnant. We might actually start releasing some of those guys to the wild because they're not native to this area. They're native to the Eurasian African area. So it would be a good idea if we could release some of the Hopi birds back off to their native lands since they seem to be breeding quite well in our park. Hello, little crane! <gasps> Look, it's one of the frogs! I was hoping to see you! I was hoping to see you, you adorable thing! Are you coming to eat some insects? Or are you just being cute? Are you coming to eat the insects? Oh, 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 oh! Nope. Oh, there's more of them! Oh my goodness, I didn't expect to find them over here. They've wandered over from the other side of the fence. Where are you going? Where are you going, little one? Oh, you're so cute. Look at it. Look at it in its cuteness. It's so freaking adorable. Oh, did you hear the birds? That's what I love about coming to work here every morning, is we can hear the call of all the tropical birds. So let's see. Are you, are you a happy? Are you a happy frog? It is a pretty happy frog. Doing well. Oh, it's sleeping in the shade of the elephant ear tree now. <gasps> Wonderful. So that is kind of one of our main focuses right now in turn, is checking out what other animals are coming into our park, seeing how they're doing. The plants are thriving. I do think we need to get some of the tall monsoon grass though. Come here. And spread it over here. Because it's a little bit bare over here. Come here, tall monsoon grass. Yeah, see there's still some dead grass over here that just never, for some reason, never grew. So we'll remove that. Oh, hello, little one! It's like, whoa! Where'd that grass go? Maybe I was gonna hide in that! Now it's just gone! Poor little guy. Alright, and we'll go ahead and get the monsoon grass over here. Yeah. Hang on, little ones. Give you a bit more cover. Oh, I love hearing those beautiful bird calls. Oh, and our sphinx macaw population doing so well is truly something worthy of note because it's a very critically endangered population. Oh, this is an unhappy bird. Let us find out why this is an unhappy bird. Hopefully it's not the monsoon grass we just put down. And actually we can check on our little GPS, GPS trackers which birds are happy and which ones aren't. This red bird of paradise is not very happy, going to use the lookout post. All right, so maybe there need to be more lookout posts over here because I don't think there's any yeah, it's going, it's got a long journey to go before it finds a lookout post. So, elevated nest box. Interesting. Interesting. Doesn't say it would use those, but I guess many, many varieties of the birds enjoy these lookout posts. So let's put one kind of over here for the birds to enjoy. Look, they can, they can climb in their lookout post to keep an eye on the people who are in the sky tower. Anyone using this yet? No, not yet. But they're enjoying the educational facilities, except this person. Not entertaining enough. Well, young lady, I'm going to stick you under an arch so you can reconsider if this zoo is entertaining enough or not for you. Oh, and I hear our ocelot. Yes, we'll have to check on our ocelot. And I have found out that our caiman uh, does indeed. We have a Yakari caiman here in the park, in turn. And I am a little bit worried about that, but I think actually it's going to keep the bird population slightly in check, which is always a good thing to have those healthy, balanced ecosystems. We have revitalized the park, and so it does kind of mean that the cycle of life, when you have an abundance of a species, um, the cycle of life happens, and somebody needs to be able to eat those species uh, often, or they die out because they overeat their food. So it turns out we have a Yakari caiman, and we're going to have to find it. I would much rather prefer knowing where the caiman is in our park. Hello, little Sphinx Macaw. Oh, just today I am so blown away by how full of life this place is. Our beautiful banana groves, the people who are walking everywhere. Oh... But yes, so, Yukari came in. I hope that park ranger is being cautious because it does indeed walk the waterways. It stalks some of our birds and eats them, but it seems to be, it seems to be, oh my gosh, the frogs have worked their way all the way over here. Well, I hope they're happy. There's another one of the birds of paradise. Doesn't it make you proud when you recognize most of them? Recognize? Is that a capybara? Oh my gosh. It's a capybara intern. These are one of my favorite little ones. Oh my goodness, because they're one of the largest rodents in the world. Oh, park ranger ruining my shot. Look at this. Look at this. Tell me more about yourself, little one. 
It's taking a nap in the shade of the monkey tree. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking cute. Oh, listen to it. Oh, that's so cute. That is adorable. Oh, what do you think, little girl? Don't you think this is just the cutest thing in the world? Oh my gosh. So we have a capybara. At least two of them, because the, the zookeepers have tagged them. It seems pretty darn happy. Sleeping in the shade. Why do you need to be happy, my little friend? Let's see. We've got, no wonder it showed up. We've got plenty of the food that it enjoys. Lots of grass, tons of bananas. Maybe it showed up. <gasps> Look, there's two of them. There's two of them and they're running across the river together. What? And Ocelot One is going to give birth? I didn't even know she was pregnant. What is this? What is this little thing? It's a baby Brazilian tape bear. I didn't even know that we had that. Run, little one. You're as big as the ocelot. Move it. Move it and groove it or else you're going to get eaten by her. I swear. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. It's like she, she attracted it over to her side of the park so that she can feed it to her kittens. But she's going to give birth. I didn't even know you were pregnant. Oh, that's so exciting. A male must have wandered by and gotten her pregnant. Okay. Oh my gosh, and that baby tapir is the cutest thing! Oh, see, we start off as a bird sanctuary and we end up. Oh, well, sounds like she's having some kittens. And we end up with so much more. <gasps> kittens! Kittens! Ocelot kittens! Oh my gosh! Kitten, 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 kitten! Oh my gosh, it's so cute! It looks like a little teensy house cat! Oh my goodness gracious! Congratulations, Mama! Why are you leaving your baby behind, huh? Oh, she's going to go eat some chicks. There, that's a tapir. So she has one little baby. Oh my goodness, and it's a little girl just like her. Wow, that's so amazing. So she has just had a wee baby, and she's headed off to go eat some chicks. So apparently she's going to go raid the bird nest. So it's like I said, in turn, it is sad because we do have... Oh, Dallow, Dallow, are you stuck again? What? We're a five-star... How did... I don't even know how that happened, but I am overjoyed. So we are now a five-star establishment, a five-star bird park. Well, geez, I don't think there's much more we can we can do here other than like fix up some things and just enjoy the flourishing of the park and make sure all of the, the birds are happy. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. That's, that's, that's just thrilling. We're gonna get down here. Oh, oh, oh. One of the, the Hopi have been eaten yet again. Oh dear. Well, we'll leave this carcass in here for now. Oh, two of them. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Three of them. It's... Okay. Clearly we do have some work to do here. Tapir, what do you think of this? Oh dear. The Hopi are being slaughtered. It's a Hopi slaughter. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of Hopi. But, oh my gosh. There's a lot of dead ones. Oh dear. Um... Well, apparently, by honoring the cycle of life, we're still, we're still, yep, there's number two. Oh my gosh. We're still a five star, five star nature park. Because we are a nature park, so this is going to happen. I'm just going to have to awkwardly, like, clear those away. But this is going to happen here. I would bet that that is the Akari Cayman that I was speaking of. And actually, I learned something interesting in turn. Oh, and this bird of paradise is having a hard time. Oh wow, she laid a lot of eggs! Holy days! She laid like six eggs! Oh my gosh! Okay! And she's a little bit unhappy. She's very thirsty, very hungry, but she's headed off to go eat the insects from the hollow log. Which are right here. Let's make sure that that hollow log has enough insects for her. There you go, sweetheart. There you go. Oh, look, and the ocelot's coming. Little ocelot kitten. Oh my gosh. So much going on. Good grief, and that baby Tapara just left a pile of poo as big as it. And look, there's those deer watching the park, warily watching the park ranger. That's amazing. I see you, little deer. I wish I knew where that Yakari came and went. I'm a little bit worried about that. Oh my gosh, everywhere you turn, it's just full of life now. Oh, I'm so happy. I think we've really done it. We've really turned this place into an absolutely amazing, amazing living park again. That's wonderful. All right, come on, sweetheart. Let's 
put the bird of paradise away and then let her out again. Alright, she should be okay. I think she just had to go lay her eggs somewhere. Too bad we didn't catch where she laid her eggs. That would be amazing to be able to go and look at them. But she's headed off to one of the elevated nest boxes. Still no one using the sky tower. I wish they would. That'd be so cool. A lot of people using the binoculars over here though. How the heck? Oh no, we've got we've got one of our entertainers stuck inside of the exhibits. Hang on. No wonder people aren't entertained. Get back in there. Where's our other entertainer? Are you guys like stuck somewhere? Alright, let's see. Uh Sonia and then Monty. Yeah, Monty's doing fine. He's up here. I think we should just hire a whole bunch more entertainers. We'll probably get like two or three more. Let's get three more. One, two, three more. All saber toothed. They're, they're tigers for the, the, they are lions, you see, or like big cats for the ocelots. They're doing a little breakdancing routine together. This zoo isn't amusing enough for me. This zoo is great. Well, I'm glad she's feeling more amused. And she's going to go look at our arches. Yay. All right. So we have ocelot kittens. We have capybara. Ah, oh, we've got the mystery of where that caiman went. I kind of, I'm assuming the caiman is like hiding out maybe in this pond now because we keep having so many of our animals like vanish oh dear oh my this is a major problem she has literally lost her head and become stuck right here this is concerning i heard a hiss <gasps> there's the caiman i was right the caiman is hanging out in this pond now possibly because it is closer to the awesome food source come here reinhardt all right are you good do you have your head back on Okay, she's doing good. I was really worried about her for a second. But the caiman is indeed hanging out in this pond. So this is a Yakari caiman. There it is. You see it right there. This is a Yakari caiman. And they are actually the most populous and common of all crocodilians in the world, I found out. There's an estimated 10 million individuals through South America. So they're mostly down kind of in Brazil. They're usually like further in... Uh, Argentina, Uruguay, we're in Central America right now, so this guy's a little bit north of his usual territory. Hey, 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 hey! And apparently, this guy is usually the prey item. The prey item! Oh, oh, oh! Run, little Hopi! But it is usually the prey item of anaconda and even jaguars. Man, I don't blame him for picking this pond, because look, he crawls out and it's just, it's food everywhere. Uh-oh. Are we going to witness the cycle of life here? Hopies, if you guys don't get out of the way, I can't really help you. I can't really help you. Oh, jeez. No, he's just getting some water. You just came out of some water, but okay. Run, little Hopi! Run! You're one lucky little bird. Look at those jaws. It's just sunning itself. That's so cool. So cool. Hey, watch my toes. Oh dear, I wonder what happens if we watch this. Again, don't forget, this is meant to be like a real wildlife sanctuary, like preserve. We've got a lot of birds that aren't natural to this area, but oh, and look at those guys. The tapir and the capybara just wandering by. Oh, this park is doing so wonderfully. Oh, good. Good, good, good. We don't have to worry quite as much anymore. This guy's just wandering around. We're gonna have to keep an eye on that caiman. But normally what these guys eat tend to be mostly fish and birds. So that would explain why it shows up inside of a bird sanctuary. We're not hurting on bird populations. We don't really have, even our rare populations are doing pretty good. Uh, so I think we'll be okay. And back into the water he goes. That's so amazing. Oh, and these, yeah, see, these guys are breeding fine. So although we turned around and a lot of them got eaten, I think that's just kind of part and parcel of what goes on here. Oh, and the bird of paradise babies are hatching. And I think what we're going to do in turn with everything going so great is we're just going to make sure that like all the bits and pieces are in place. The ecosystem seems to have reached a natural point of balancing itself. Look, we've got the little baby deer. <gasps> Little teensy itty bitty baby deer right here. Who is making that noise? Oh, it's the ocelot. She is much further from her usual territory. I wonder what she's thinking about. What are you doing? What are you doing, huh? 
Come here. I can't. A little off the Come here. I got you now. So she's going to go rest in the rock cave over here. Ooh, she's moving in on these guys' territory. Don't know about that. But she can kind of do what she wants. I think that the Tapira would, like, probably threaten her, though. So I don't know if that's the smartest thing to do. But yeah, our animals seem to be absolutely thriving. The park is thriving. Now I think we just need to make sure that they're happy. I mean, we're a five-star park now. I did not see that coming. This was one of the most challenging setups that we've ever had to do. Restoring restoring a natural like park from the ground up, literally. Oh, look at all these capybara. They're just like enjoying and thriving. Oh, you guys are so cute. Whoa, and so fast. Enjoying and thriving this giant like pile of fruit that we have for them but oh my goodness yeah everyone seems to be doing great there's frogs everybody's just hopping around who knows what else is going to show up but i think this park is is almost self-sustainable we just need to check on a few more things what is that that teensy thing way over there zoom in with the binoculars zoom in it's a bird of paradise i wonder if that's the mama headed back to the nest interesting interesting indeed but yeah oh my gosh I think, I think the park is getting to the point where uh, it can almost sustain itself. Oh, and we're finding a few places, like there, where we can remove the evil giant rocks that harass our little birds, at least. Alright, what's where, what part of the park is this? This part. Okay, I want to grab... We want to put... Where's our awesome palm trees? There they are! These guys. We're going to sprinkle these guys over here. And then I think what we're going to do is we will do go down the list and make sure that all of our animals are doing well. That they've got the food and water and resources that they need. We'll check if there's any areas that really need tending to. We'll make sure we're not missing any new amazing animals. And then we'll sit back and enjoy. I'm pretty sure we'll get our new assignment uh, relatively soon. I've heard some interesting rumors about where that will be, too. And we will get the front entrance tidied up so that people know they're coming to an absolutely amazing bird sanctuary. Ah, <sighs> intern, I am so proud of you and I. We have really done it. I mean, this place used to be a black, empty, burnt-out husk. And now it is a vibrant, beautiful, living rainforest. High five, intern. High five. We are doing this. All right, so go home, check your underwear for leeches, and I will see you back here in the morning. Bye-bye.